the details of the ACCS syllabus. What exactly do you learn, you know, besides the fact that you're going to learn something in the field of finance and accounts, what do you learn in ACCA? So, uh, if this is the first time you're coming to the channel, then please do subscribe. We make a lot of content on finance and accounting qualifications. And if you've been visiting us, then thank you so much for the support. It really has helped us a lot to reach out to a lot of candidates like you who need help. First of all, understand that what you learn in ACCA is the application of how to use the finance and accounting knowledge across various situations, circumstances, companies, industries. You basically learn that once you have to understand a concept, you know, you learn the way the statutory bodies are asking you to, sh to represent numbers, right? So whether it's for internal business reasons or personal reasons or it's for external compliance reasons, either which ways you will be able to apply that knowledge to your actual situations. And that's what you will learn. In it helps you stretch your brains while you're studying so that you actually become better than what you are today. And you go out into the world and you actually have more value to give to the market than what maybe others around you could be giving. So I'm going to tell you a little more in depth for especially if you guys are students are looking to pursue ACCA. It's split into three parts, right? Knowledge, skill and professional. As it exactly sounds, knowledge is literally the base. Skill is when you're, you know, learning how to apply all your knowledge, turning it into a skill. And professional is the highest level. What will be actually expected in the real world, what the kind of case studies and the situations they give you in your exams, they, they, they're as real as they can get. You know, they're not theoretical. It's not too much of road learning. It's a lot of application based. So knowledge level, right? Knowledge level has business and technology, management accounting, financial accounting. Literally, most of you would have you know, touched upon all these aspects in college. But if you haven't quickly business and technology, it just gives you a perspective into the real world, right? How does the world need finance and accounts? That's what this, this first subject teaches. It's quite a simple subject, quite a basic, interesting subject. You can really score well in this. Um, it's, it's, it's all MCQ based, so it's not really a problem. Second is management accounting. Management accounting is a good, new, different subject for many people. But it's all about how do I collect understanding of information within the organization, collate the right kind of information, and then I present it to somebody to make better decisions. Third is financial accounting. Financial accounting for most of you who've given 12th accounts, you know, your balance sheet, your profit and loss account, your cash flow statement, the journal entries, the ledgers, all of that is what financial account is. Although in ACCA, we learn something called IFRS, International Financial Reporting Standards, which are the standards internationally on how to draw your balance sheet, PNL, and cash flow statement. In India, earlier we would follow what is called Indian Accounting Standards, and now it's INDAS, I N D hyphen A S. And INDAS is essentially 95% IFRS. So if you learn ACCA, you're already learning the Indian accounting standards. All right, next is the skill level. Skill, the first subject is law, business and corporate law. This is international variant. We suggest most of our students to do. Really nice, again, full MCQ, nice little subject to get the perspective of how the field of law works. And it's a good insight for a lot of you who want to get into the field of finance and accounts, it's not always about numbers. You've got to also understand other statutory compliance. Subject number five is performance management. Performance management is the higher version of management accounting. Performance management is like the CA. In CA, we do costing. That's what we do in PM in ACCA. And it's again what it sounds like. You know, it has its costing subjects, your activity-based costing and, and, and marginal costing and absorption costing and things like that. But it also has variances. It also gives you a perspective of how to actually analyze and drive performance in an organization. Subject number six is tax. Simple, not much explained. Subject number seven is financial reporting. This is the higher level of financial accounting. Financial reporting is a more in-depth understanding into IFRS. You study many, many standards and learn how to solve them. This is a common favorite subject for a lot of candidates. They actually, I personally wanted to get into financial reporting when I was studying it because I really like that subject so much. Subject number uh, eight is audit and assurance. And once again, if you don't know what audit is, it's basically making sure that the financial statements shown by a company are true and fair. And I'm not going to get into the depth. I've, again, we made, made videos in which we explain audit in depth, but auditing is quite a common term used in the field of commerce. Only thing you have to remember here is this is international standards on auditing, which by the way are very similar to the Indian standards on auditing. 
नेक्स्ट इज फाइनेंशियल मैनेजमेंट एफ एम एफ एम इज अ वेरी अगेन वेरी फन सब्जेक्ट इट टॉक्स अबाउट सब टॉपिक्स लाइक टाइम वैल्यू ऑफ मनी कॉस्ट ऑफ कैपिटल वर्किंग कैपिटल इन्वेस्टमेंट अप्रेजल a lot of calculation but a lot of logical calculation so if you guys are number fans but logical people it's going to be one of the top subject again fm is a subject i personally still use knowledge on a daily basis at at a personal or at a business level so again something for you all to know and this takes care of your skill level finally comes the professional level on the professional level the first two subjects are mandatory one is called sbr strategic business reporting the highest level of financial reporting so you have fa financial accounting financial reporting strategic business reporting covers everything in ifrs the real kind of case studies that you will face if you go out into the world and actually become a ifrs expert or a financial reporting expert some of our faculty members the top ones are into financial reporting and worked in companies like grand thornton icici securities and all, so on so forth one of our other faculty is a cfo of a group company called a bands he also is specializing in ifrs reporting so it's pretty there has a stellar career you can make over there and then is sbl strategic business leader this is like a mini mba i tell everybody i use the term mini mba i think i've spread it so much in the world that so many people in india now use the word sbl is equal to mini mba one of my favorite subjects because it teaches you so much about how to look at the world of business through the lens of finance and accounts you know we generally look at finance and accounts and we become very restrictive to that field but this subject opens your eyes into how a ceo thinks how the marketing department thinks how the hr department thinks how operation thinks how strategy is formed how to look at the macro factors of the environment and all of this you sort of combine it with your knowledge of finance and accounts this is your 10th and 11th subject and now finally for your last so these are called essential subjects in the professional level and then there are optional optional means there are four subjects out of which you have to choose two the four subjects are advanced performance management advanced financial management advanced taxation advanced audit and assurance they are all the higher version of the skill level exams that we were talking about and you can specialize in all so well we have students who've taken all four so choice is yours but the best part we've seen is that you should take up subjects like triple a which is your advanced audit because as a chartered accountant as a global chartered accountant doing audit gives you perspective of how finance and accounts works from a bird's eye view in different companies across various industries so auditing might be boring for some people especially when you are an intern or an article or even in a studying it might be boring but it's what you learn in audit is exemplary second is advanced financial management so this is all about <clears throat> mergers and acquisitions and derivatives and the highest level of managing money again it's a universally accepted subject you should learn that tax advanced tax is a great subject but you'll have to take variants of uk most likely so you learn uk tax which is not a problem because uk tax and indian tax conceptually are the same so you might learn a few extra conditions of uk tax but you'll be able to apply all of that to indian tax once you learn the indian condition because you understand how tax works and tax is a good subject is the scoring subject because you know even though it's complicated tax is eventually limited right so it has a lot of stuff to study but once you study it there is not much more than that so it's an interesting subject and last is advanced performance management now this is an amazing subject but you've got to be really self driven to make use of this because it it really stretches your brain on how to run an organization you know it it's a combination of your sbl paper with your pm paper in many ways and 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 that really gives you a good insight into how how you can drive performance at the highest level if you're a student right now don't worry about the optional papers when you reach at the final level you will be able to make a decision and be any which is counsel all of you guys at all at all stages if you are want to decide so let us know i think this was a a, a quick summary on the all the subjects and the the details of what they comprise of we made detailed other videos on acca covering other aspects of the syllabus which you can check out and if there's anything else that you'd like us to know please leave it in the comments